Uh, hello, people. Who is in the chat? Okay, guys, uh, I will start the the streaming. Donald Church, hello, Donald. Donald Trump. Hi, Yoshi. Okay, today. Fuck. Today we'll, uh, we will do uh, a grinder, a crazy grinder, the using Dyson. Then first I will open my tool and I will do the, the graphic routine. Okay, first... Um, I will use the default uh, Super Mario World interaction routine. Then for that, we will use the CFG editor to see the interaction. Then the first step is to see this, the object clipping and the sprite clipping. Okay. Then this square uh, sky blue dark a square is the position zero zero is equivalent to this square here uh, then to do the interaction this this point is the offset of, of the is the offset of, of the hitbox and then this is the left side bottom side uh, no, left side, right side, bottom side, and up side. Okay. Then this will be our uh, hitbox. For object clipping, we will have four points. One point for to detect the upper zone. Other point to detect right. Other for below, and other for left. Then. Uh, I will do the graphic routine considering that this then the grinder should be centered in this position. Uh, first I will load the graphics here. Here is the graphics of grinder and I will do the frames. For that I will create a frame, frame 0. Here, uh, and I create this frame, and I will change the palette. Okay, now we have a killer grinder. Uh, I will move the graphic to do it more, more nicer or nicer the graphic, the frame. And I will move it some pixels to down because I want that the grinder is 
uh, behind the the foreground and we move it to some pixels one two three four four pixels okay now we create another frame frame one Uh, here Dos, tres, okay now we have the graphic routine and I will do the animation and now we have an animation for grinder Okay, I will save the I will save this bloody grinder. And now I will extract the dot asm. Uh, uh, remember the last stream I only need the code for this spray because it doesn't flip okay now I have the the dot ASM here I will copy it on the on this folder and now I will do the CFG CFG then I will can be curious. Okay, remember put custom and here the put the dot asm file. And change the act light. Okay, now I have the CFG. CFG. And now we, uh, I must uh, replace. Hola Manu. Now I must replace the. This spray will be in format JP. I must change it to use Pixie. If you remember the last uh, stream, you only must change some routines, uh, put parentheses at the end, and a percent uh, symbol at the start. I will show you how to do it. First is sub off screen here. And the other is uh, get draw info in this case. Okay, guys, so now I will insert the sprite. Now we, we have a grinder that doesn't move and doesn't do anything. Okay. The next the next step is do the interaction routine. For that I will create an interaction routine here. Remember spread code execute every frame. In this zone I will create a interaction routine. And I will create a routine for that. Okay. To do uh, the interaction, we will use some. We will use three. Uh, three routines. Uh, four routines. Dot did of the original. Three routines of the original game. 
The first is this. This routine loads the clipping of Mario or the player. Uh, for load the clipping, it used the scratch RAM. Uh, here you can see the code for the uh, how works uh, each scratch. The second routine is this. It loads the the sprite uh, the sprite uh, clipping or the sprite hitbox. Lal. Hello, Metal Yoshi. Okay. But me Metal Yoshi, there is a... Oye, Metal Yoshi, hay un stream en español. Velo de la semana pasada. Eh. Podrían haber visto el stream en español, hijos de puta. Okay, the third routine is this. This routine check the interaction between both box boxes. Uh, it returns carry set. If interaction exists. And carry clear if exists. Then to to use before this, the after this, I must call. I must use PCC. Then this zone and that this zone here will be executing when interaction exists. Then here I will create uh, an interaction routine. For this, I have a a routine for speak sprites. Uh, this is a copy paste routine. You only copy and paste here and you call it. Okay, with that, uh, our grinder should do the interaction. And now the grinder have interaction. The next step is do the movement. For the movement, I will create a routine for movement here. Call it move. And I will call it on the sprite code here. Okay, for movement, I will use the default uh, Super Mario World routine. For that, I will search it on Super Mario World Central. Okay, I will use this routine. This subroutine updates the sprite X and Y position, including gravity and interaction with objects. Then I will include it here. To do SA1 compatibility, I add this. Okay, now the sprite should fall to the ground. And now I have a green there on the ground. Okay. Now I have a problem because the green there is in front of foreground and I want that the green there is behind the front foreground. 
For that, I will change the properties of the tiles. For properties, I will go to this table here. And I will use the, uh, the format for property. This. Basically, we'll, we will change the priority, the PP. Uh, then I will change two, uh, these two, two bits. I will change two for one. Basically, I will, I will subtract uh, 13. And now the grinder should be uh, behind the, front, the foreground. Okay, now I have a grinder on the ground. The next step uh, is do the movement. For that, I will create a constant for the next speed. Uh, all fine in the chat. Okay, this constant will be remember between zero zero and seven F is right, and between uh, eighteen eighty. Uh, and FF trip is left. Now we will go to the sprite init here. This is the init. This is executed when the sprite is created, and I will change the the x speed of the sprite. Okay, now uh, I have the grinder should move to the right. All fine. Okay, the next step is do the interaction with the blocks. For that, I will use this address. This address uh, basically have eight bits that each bit represents something. R is for right contact with layer one, L is for left contact with layer one, D is for down contact with layer one, and U is for uh, above contact with layer one. The other bits are for layer two. Uh, B is, the equ is equal to down to D, but for layer 2, S is equal to L, L and R, L and R, but for layer 2, and A is for, is equals to U, but for layer 2. Then, to check this, I will do an AND. Before use this, uh, A, A will be 0, 0, 0, 0. LR. Then, if a, if a is is zero, then there is no contact. If we, if it is another value, then exists contact with the blocks for from sides. Then I will change the speed in this case. This basically do this equal to minus this. 
Okay, now I... Now I will reinsert the sprite. And now we have a basic grinder. Okay, the next step is do a grinder that follows you. For that I will create another routine for movement. I will call it move2. Um, for this routine, I will create uh, some constant. The first constant will be uh, acceleration. The second constant will be max speed. Okay, the acceleration will change, will be the acceleration of the sprite when it follows Mario, and max speed will be the max speed when the sprite follows Mario. Then I will do a routine to follow the player. For that, I will create it here. It will call follows follow player okay the to do this I will load I will do that a will be the player position and I will compare that with this with the sprite exposition. Then first I will load the exposition on the on a scratch run. Then I will load all in a scratch zero. The low byte will be in a scratch zero and the high byte will be in a scratch one. Okay. Now we compare the player position. Compare with a sprite exposition. Uh, uh, this will return this will be if the player is uh, higher than the uh, if the player exposition is higher than the sprite exposition then the sprite the player will be on the right of the sprite then carry set will be equal to player is on the right side and let uh, carry clear will be player is on the left side then I will use this routine to follow the player uh, okay then I will I will load uh, this uh, 
this for update. Uh, I will explain this soon. Okay. Now I will I will reinsert the sprite. Basically now it should move to the right when Mario is on the right and left when Mario is on the left. Oh fuck. What happened? Ah, I forgot this. So F set twenty. Now it should work. Again. Oh, it doesn't work. What happened? Uh, mm, 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 mm. It should do something wrong. Uh, let me see. Calling left. Uh, where? Where? Ah, this is the problem. I put low and it's high. No children. Excuse me for the problems. Hmm. Let me see what happened. Ah. The right position, the scratch. Ah. Okay. Uh, oh, thank you, Yoshi. <laughs> now it works. Now it should work. And now it works. Okay, now the grinder works, but the movement is not a smoothie. I like I like when the movement is a smoothie. Then I will uh, use acceleration for that. Then to use the acceleration, I will first I will do do this. Basically, I will do this. Uh, if player is on left, I will subtract acceleration. I would do it from and if I if the player is on the right. 
I will do this. Uh, okay, then I will you I will do that. Oh, this price is redundant. Okay. Now the sprite should move more smoothly. Fuck. Uh, okay, now I will do, I must use uh, max speed. To use max speed, I will check the sprite. I will check this. Well, I don't need to do this. I will compare it with if A is negative, uh, if is if it's negative, I must excuse. If it if it is positive, I will jump to to plus. And if it is negative, I will compare it with uh, max speed. Uh, if the if the sprite x speed is higher than the max speed. Then I jump. If if don't, then I will load the max speed on the I will load the max speed on the sprite X speed. I will do the same but for the for this. Uh, minus max speed to be honest. Okay. In this case, I must uh, it must jump if it is negative. I will explain this with more details soon. Give me a moment. And now we have a grinder that moves with max speed 20. Well, it is moving where? Ah, I forgot something. Uh, here is BCC. Now it should work. And now we have a grinder that move, that follows the sprite, that follows the player. Now I will do the interaction. For that I will do something uh, similar to here. But now the speed will be zero when... When it is uh, when it check uh, oh I must check now I must check each side uh, different player is on the right then I must check the right uh, gate uh, this will be this. If don't, then it should. Oh, I must. Uh, I must also. I must call the interaction routine. 
Uh, that is not necessary to be honest. Uh, then if check uh if it is check uh block from the right it will stop if the player is on the right and if it is if the player is on the left i must check the left side for that i use this I will reinsert the sprite. Probably it will work weird because the interaction with objects doesn't work each frame. Yes, it it works weird. But hey, it works. <laughs> okay, to uh, to avoid that, I must check the interaction before. Uh, change the speed uh, I don't remember the routine to do that But I will put a comment for that to don't expand a lot the tutorial The same here Okay, now uh, the next step will be uh, jump uh, jump the the obstacles. For that, I will create a a, a constant for the speed when it jumps to avoid an obstacle. For example, and when it detects an obstacle, basically here, I will jump. Right, uh, yes. Oh, it didn't jump. Why it didn't jump? Let me see. Uh, oh, I forgot the this symbol. Now it should jump. Okay, the jump is not very very beautiful. I will change it to A. A is more jump speed than D. And now we have a grinder that uh, jump obstacles. Well, you can use it only C or B. And now I will do uh, that the sprite during will jump randomly sometimes. For that, I will do a a, a timer. A timer to jump for example jump every 20 every 20 
20 is equal to uh, two frames. That is like a half of a second. Maybe I will use 40. 40 is like a second. And now I will define a, a variable for the timer. For the time I will use uh, some of the sprite miscellaneous tables. Uh, call it here like deck. In this case, deck two. And on the init, I will put the max timer. Okay, this this timer decrease in one each frame. Okay. Then when this is zero, here, when this is uh, different to zero, I don't I do don't do anything, and when it is zero. When it is zero, I I set the the jump speed. I we create a, a constant for jump speed. For example, D. Uh, oh, I have a uh, probably I ah, here I must I must remove those. Now reinsert the sprite. What the? F oh, I forgot the. I forgot to do that. The sprite should be on the ground to jump. Okay, to, I must check this. I must check the D bit. For that, I will do this. And now it only will jump when it is on the floor. Now we have a killer a killer grinder. Uh, to do the the classic grinder sound effect, I will use the frame counter. If uh, animation no. True, I can use this or effective. Effective frame counter. Uh, this is fourteen. Then I will do it for each eight frames. For that I will load a seven. Uh, then that will do this. Uh, if this is zero, then it will do the 
the sound effect. Uh, to do the sound effect, I will use a run address. Uh, let me find it. Is the this? Then the green there effect should be. Uh, this and I will load it on this in this from address to do it uh, SAE1 compatibility I add this Now the sprite have the his sound effect. I can change the constant to do it slower or faster. Uh, and it jumps higher. For example this. This is crazy. Uh, a lot of jump speed. Uh, for example, A or B. C. Okay. Oh, I forgot something. Uh, when the the timer is in, is zero, I must reset the timer. To do that, I will go to the zone of the code where I put the timer. This, and I will load the new timer. And now we have a killer grinder. Okay, guys, uh, this is all for this tutorial. Uh, the next time I will do this, uh, this is sprite. Uh, give me a second. I will do. Uh, no, not this. Uh, Where is the asshole bro? This. Uh, I will do the uh, that the giant Bowser balls that that sprite that uh, is shoot is spawned by Bowser on the final battle. Also, I uh, I will remember that subscribe to my channel and also look this thread this thread is in the tutorial sub forum of super my world central uh, in this thread i put all the streams and i also put uh, a log of the stream step by step how to do the sprite also I, here i will put the 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 stream and the sprite uh, for example the sprite of the another stream i 
uploaded to the to Super Mario World Central here was this platform and this is all for, for today thanks for watching and uh, I hope that you 